Hey there, we're excited to show you the new model file to use with Olama. It's a simple file that encapsulates everything about using a model, including the model weights, the prompt, and all the parameters. It's now super easy to build something that works for a specific use case, and then share that model file with your colleagues, and they can have the same setup right away. Soon, you'll also be able to share specific trainings and maybe even the state of your model quickly and easily. We're working on a registry and should have something that you can push your model files to soon. And then it becomes a very similar experience to what you have today with Docker. In Docker, you work with layers that stack on top of each other to create your environment. And we have the same thing with Olama. There's a layer for the model weights, another for the parameters, and another for the prompt. When you share a model file and run it, if you use the same model, only the layers with the different parameters or prompts get downloaded. Soon, we'll also support additional layers for training and maybe other functionality. When you look at the API calls that go back and forth, when you grab a model file, you see that it looks a lot like Docker. When we started building Olama, we knew one of the biggest challenges with getting up and running with LLMs on your laptop is distribution. Finding a model that works with your setup is the first challenge. Do you go to Hugging Face? What files do you look for? Then tweaking the parameters is next. What's this temperature all about? Top P, top K, what are those? And there are so many others. And then of course, there's a the prompt. Often you can stick with the defaults, but sometimes tweaking the prompt is really helpful. You can tell the model what you're going to provide and what you expect the output to look like. But sharing those prompts is one challenge, and then knowing where to put them in the UI is another. We knew we could make it easier. So let's take a look at how to use model files. First, let's just run a model. It's just like it was before. Olama run Llama2. This will download the Llama2 model from Meta. Well, we're actually downloading it from our hub. And then you can run prompts against it. Why is the sky blue? And there's our answer. But let's say you want to customize things a bit. We'll start just by defining a new model file and using a from instruction, from Llama2. Just like Docker, we also support tags that you can add on with a colon and then a tag, like latest, or and maybe with Llama2, you can add the 13b tag. I'll save that to a file called video example. You can call the file anything you like, and then use the Olama create command. Olama create my L2, dash F and the path to the model file. In this case, my L2 is just what I want to call it. The name can be anything you like. Now I can use the run command, olama run my L2. And I'm dropped into a prompt. So I can ask my favorite question, why is this guy blue? Maybe we want to customize the prompt a bit. Sometimes I have to cook and I don't want to go to the store. I have some ingredients in the fridge. So what can I do with that? I want to give the model a list of ingredients and have it spit out a recipe. Here's a simple prompt for that. Notice this part shows what I want to use to start the conversation and not to include in every question. And so now I'll give it salmon, orange, whiskey, and radish. And here comes the recipe. What if we want to tweak the parameters? There's a doc in the repo that I added yesterday that covers the parameters available in the model file. I'll add temperature, top P, and top K. We also have license in case you need to distribute a license with your model. Does it react differently to the, my ingredients with those parameters? Sometimes you'll have to tweak it more or less depending on the model and your goals for the prompt, um, but it's really easy to um, do here. We'll also be updating the menu bar soon to make all of this possible without touching the CLI, but we wanted to focus on the most important stuff first, you know, the fundamentals. There's a lot more we plan to add, we already have a few examples in the GitHub repo. I'm loving this one to generate mid-journey prompts using a prompt I found online. I just fed it new llama runner and it generated a great prompt to give to mid-journey. And I ended up with this speeding llama that I used for the thumbnail for the previous video. Here are the results of using the term platform engineering, which is a popular buzzword today in the world of DevOps. How do you make an image about platform engineering? Nothing I would create myself would look anywhere near as cool as these. When I used to own the blog at Datadog for a short while, 
I was terrible at coming up with images, but if I had this back then, we may be in a different place. Well, we are sure you will come up with other great ideas. I mentioned that soon we'll open up the registry for sharing your models, but we can also add any other mod examples that you come up with to our repo. And so that's it for a quick intro to the model file. Check it out and the rest of Olama and let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.